high tide came in at noon, with waves breaking from four to eight feet, a surfer's paradise. Close to 100 people gathered along the Ocean Beach Pier to watch the surfers brave the waves and to wait for the next storm to hit. Parts of the Ocean Beach walkway are still closed off, though the barricades didn't seem to do much good. Part of the seawall caved in yesterday, and officials were concerned that the exposed sewage pipes underneath would rupture. But work crews spent the night shoring up the collapsed wall with broken blocks of cement. Officials now say the worry is over. The San Diego Harbor was relatively calm this afternoon, a change from the high winds last night. There was only one report of storm damage overnight here. Oscar Granados was the victim. He and his crew spent the afternoon cleaning up. For Granados, it was the double whammy. Not only is this boat a total loss, just two weeks ago he lost another boat in the storm. He didn't have any insurance on either of them. It just, uh, the storms have been too much. They haven't been able to hold. Nothing has held it, chains or uh, 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 moorings or anything. Anything has been, everything has been tore up. The boat has been hurt three times already. And this is all that's left of it. The most significant storm damage downtown was at the old San Diego Rowing Club. The roof collapsed because of the heavy rain and high winds. The abandoned building has struggled for survival for almost a year. Although it's been declared an historical site, many people wanted it torn down, and they may have gotten their wish. One member of the club says the collapsed roof could be the kiss of death for the rowing club. Paul is on News 8 along the San Diego waterfront. The flooding at Del Mar near the racetrack was by far the worst in recent memory. Fed by continuous water spillover from the Lake Hodges Dam, the San Diego River backed up at its mouth and went over its banks. Floodwaters quickly covered the racetrack and fairgrounds, temporarily stranding more than 50 valuable horses. Southwest of the track, at least 30 people were evacuated from homes and condominiums. One condo complex had the corner of its foundation undermined. Homeowners gathered clothing, furniture, anything they could carry as they fled for safer ground. This is the worst I've ever seen it in 20 years. We've lost everything. The only thing we can save is our clothes. We have our grand piano, all the furniture, the beds are all underwater, and we're supposed to get three more feet tonight, and everything will be gone. What it's just heartbroken. I don't know what we're going to do. We've nowhere to go. I don't know where we're, what we're going to do. I don't know if we're covered by insurance or what. I haven't gotten in touch with my insurance company yet. So I don't know where we're going to go from here. Sheriff's deputies and animal control officers worked overnight and through the morning helping people and livestock to safety. Some livestock upstream of Del Mar were carried near the sea by the rushing river. The trailer park near the track was flooded and evacuated. Water covered just about every bit of lowland in the San Diego River Valley. As usual, more rain can only make the situation here all the worse. Doug McAllister, News 8, Del Mar.